tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Hong Kong. Introducing the Challenger International. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 216 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bazooka. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Blocks that strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick here comes the high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble punch over the top over and over he's landing big body kicks oh nice Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape. It's very, very dangerous.
control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Second round underway. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Got the single collar tie. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your hit. Big kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he caught the kick. And they separate. Tags him with the left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big knee land right through the corner midsection. Switching stances here. And both guys really throwing with authority. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about Chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Opened up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big 
big leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Right under the elbow, body kick land. He blocks the shot. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at him working at trying to set the liver down. Oh, collar tie. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Nice kick. Slips. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Missed with that jab attempted. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Slips the punch. Oh, shot to the body. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Got the tie clinch. Good stick. Hey. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Hey. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Blocks the shot. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. It won't take many of those. Just out of range with that right hook. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. But the guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. in this matchup. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wow! Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Lifts on the right hand. Just over two minutes to go. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Go! Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish 
down now. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. All right, he'll engage in a single. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Manzuka. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman.